Procedural content generation is great when you want to add more content into your game. A simple example is a dungeon or room generator. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial we are going to take a look at procedural rooms slash dungeon generator using binary space partitioning algorithm. So the core idea behind binary space partitioning is that we have a defined space and we slice it into smaller spaces, keeping in mind a minimum size of a room that we want to split the space into. And we stop when we cannot split the space anymore because the size doesn't allow us to. So let's take a look at the result that we expect to get from this tutorial. This is a simple room generation algorithm. It generates different uh, rooms and each time it splits the space into smaller spaces create the mesh in places of the rooms that we have generated then we connect those rooms with corridors sometimes unsuccessfully as you can see here well it, it, it is walkable but it doesn't look very good but it happens and it is all in 3d let's enter the play mode okay it is all 3d it the, the rooms are each connected with a simple corridor you can walk past all the maze all the dungeon whatever you call it and I have even filled it with some random stuff to give you an idea that you can do whatever you want with this kind of setup and the algorithm itself can be uh, modified uh, we can uh, give it parameters such as dungeon width and length a room uh, minimum width and minimum length do mind that minimum width and minimum length is the minimum uh, size of the space that will be partitioned by the room will be probably smaller than that max iteration is simply the number of rooms that we can generate before we, we stop uh, the corridor width is the width of the corridors connecting each room and we have some prefabs to set in our uh, dungeon okay so now let's see the theory behind binary space partitioning the algorithm is called binary space partitioning and the core idea is that we take a space, we draw a line and partition this space into two separate spaces of a smaller size. We continue splitting those spaces until we cannot divide them anymore. And we want to create out of them a tree-like structure that remembers parent-child relations. If you want to know more about this method, I strongly suggest to read this book, Procedural Content Generation in Games. So the algorithm itself goes as follows. We first define a root space, so the width and the size, and also the size of the room that we want to create, the minimum size. Then we divide this space using a vertical or horizontal line in a random point. Keep in mind that we need to preserve the minimum room size and uh, put those new spaces into a tree structure. So set the root space as their parent and in those spaces now we will be divided further if they can be so check if new spaces can be divided any further repeat step two so divide the spaces again check when we have no more spaces to divide then for every space we create a room choosing random points as its corners usually we use bottom left corner and top right corner and create rectangular rooms next we start from the youngest tree branch, so the lowest one with no children, and we construct a corridor between those nodes. Since each parent has only two nodes, we construct those corridors between those nodes. But going up the layer, we end up in a situation where parent has couple rooms connected with the corridors already. So we need to have a clever algorithm. So the corridor connects to the closest room in the opposite space and also doesn't hit a corner. So let's try to understand each step of this algorithm. We have a space numbered one. We divide it into two and three, and we set space one as their parent. Then we divide the first node, so the node number two, into two spaces. And for the new spaces, we set two as the parent. And we go further and further until we cannot divide anymore, or we have a set number of divisions and we don't want to have any more rooms than that next step is to generate the rooms inside of our spaces so we generate room randomly choosing its corners 
And the last step is to create corridors between the rooms. So we start with the lowest, uh, youngest nodes, so 8 and 9, we connect those two. Then we go up to 4 and 5, so 5 is made out of 9 and 8. So we need a corridor that connects a group of rooms with one room. Next we go to 6 and 7 and, con and connect those. And then we need to figure out how to connect 2 and 3. And those are made of groups of rooms. So in the next video we will start implementing this into our Unity project.